Wagwan YouTube Nation family, I me say man, Sabi man. So let me just want to do a quick round up. Um, lots of sports taking place all around the world over this weekend. Um, and uh, right here in Florida, yesterday we saw the Miramar Invitational um, for 2023 runoff. Nice little meet, uh, just a couple of hours, very compact, and um, a number of Jamaicans um, performed. Granted, that we were promised that some two dozen athletes from Jamaica would have been here. Um, uh, that was a little disappointing. A lot of the athletes who were we were told was slated to run, never, either never turned up or just basically didn't participate. But be that as it may, um, for those who did, one of those um, big up young oblique civil and akeem blake both who uh, ran the the hundred and of course civil uh pip blake uh, finished at 9.91 seconds um blake finished at 9.93 does give an indication that you know men sprinting is looking up and um we certainly expecting well for me i do believe that if these youngsters keep this up, we should see some one of these two Jamaicans on the podium, you know, by the time we get to the World Championships. And certainly by the time we get to the Paris Olympics in 2024, um, we should see a big indication that men's sprinting has improved. Keep in mind, too, lots of young lands in the, in the background. They are coming through. Uh, a number of youngsters who are really showing some serious promise, um, especially coming out of the last couple of championships and so on. You know, something to look forward to. Um, Sherika Jackson ran 400 meters, and of course, that was I was a little bit uh, disappointed. Um, the, you know, Sherika finished third in a time of what? What was that? 51.64 seconds and um i know the four and the quarter mile is not our biggest event but sherika have the the, the wherewithal to run under 50 you know so we were kind of expecting a little bit of fireworks be that as it may though she still gave a good account of herself remember sherika is a 200 and 100 meter specialist largely and um you know the, the quarter mile event is a, a sort of you know, feel a, feel a, feel a, if you will. I, I call it that. Um, the event was won by Shamar Little, the American um, youngster, 50.73, and Jamaican um, Sh Shakira Young finished second in 51.58 seconds. Well, um, now, Shakira, that's what she name, Shikari Richardson, what else can I say? I mean, the whole world is up in arms. Oh, Shakira, Shakari Richardson run 50, run 10.57 seconds. Say what? Say that again. 10.57 seconds. What them failed to tell you is that there was two tornado and a hurricane a blow back her when she had run. And so that time didn't really mean nothing. When you smooth out the time based on the wind speed, she ended up around about 10.83, 10.84 seconds. So, you know, but you know, America, this place are excitement selling. And Shakari, what well, she needs to do, whoever angling her PR or market or marketing is doing a pretty good job because them the amount of noise that this they make around this this youngster who has done nothing to prove any value. But this is America. Uh, my view is. Make me see how she stand up when she look around and see Sherika and Pocket Rocket and Elaine Thompson in the same race. And, you know, she she see all of the big athletes from all about the place line up alongside her. Um, run them, them time there at that time. And then me pay you some attention, you know. In fact, me want to even go further than that. Make the U.S. team board a plane and run outside America and run them time there against those athletes and then me will give you some argument. But right now that are just coming like 
fool's gold where them boy find down in a down a hand over there, dig up the man yard and a rubbish, right? Same kind of thing. Carifta Games. We're now in the second day. Jamaica has been leading the medal count with some 28 medals. I think it's 15 gold medals, 8 silver and 5 bronze medals. The Bahamas um, in second position with some 15 medals, uh, 17 medals. And that works out to 5 gold medal, 4 silver and 8 bronze. Um, a lot of people in Jamaica, especially since uh, Boaje and Krumi, um, got injured in his semi-final in the 100 meters, um, raising the question of whether or not Jamaica needs character. The character Games is 50 years old, and it has been a meet that Jamaica has dominated for, you know, topping the medal um, table some 44 out of those 50 years. I think the last time somebody ran in front of Jamaica was in 1984 when the Bahamas um, topped us with medals um, that year. But 44 years away, top the medal. Last year alone, Jamaica finished with 92 medals, record. So how can we say that, you know, this is a not meet and we don't need to support it? My view is that that is a very myopic and short-sighted thinking. Um, was I disappointed that Bawaji got injured? Absolutely. But that kind of injury is part and parcel of the risk of you know running in track and field athletics that you know athletes will get injured do we want that to happen no but it happens it's just a part of the thing and if you've been running in a, we've been participating in this meet for over for now 50 years and um we have had more positives than the few negatives that may be represented and i think we need to keep that in mind the character games is ours it's the biggest track meet in the Caribbean. It is an opportunity for all of the better athletes in the Caribbean to come together and to showcase their talent and their skills. And we really shouldn't deprive the Caribbean audience of quality competition and the Caribbean competitors of quality competition by sending substandard teams. Furthermore, every athlete who put on the black, green, and gold they go out there to represent the country. And, you know, especially at the junior level, you know, most of these athletes, they want to be able to go home and hang up a nice medal in them house that they won this. And even if they don't win a medal, that they participated in the Carifta Games and represented J Jamaica, we shouldn't deprive them of that, you know. Um, I believe, too, that we in Jamaica have a responsibility. We are a leading powerhouse team in international track and field and the, the rest of the Caribbean can only benefit from Jamaica's continued performance um, participation uh, you know sending their best athletes to perform in these meets because that also provides motivation for the competition and these are the youngsters from the other territories they are looking up for that in fact we are now at a point where a lot of these young athletes from the other Caribbean territories are now attending school in Jamaica so they can participate at Champs and Gibson Relays. And I think that that's a good thing. You know, I believe that, you know, as a, as a region, we're coming a long way. The, the, Carif, the Carifta Games um, had its genesis in 1972 when it started in Barbados. And we have done well as a region in maintaining this as a quality meet. In fact, the IAAF has high regards for the character games and we should you know, continue to treat the meet with the respect that it does deserve. But that are just my take. Me why you want to think? Tell me what you think, if you don't agree with me or disagree with me. But let me see your, your feedback in the comment section. Also, tell me what you think about my thoughts on Shikari, you know. Shakari coming like a three card man. And him only play three card against some man we can't see too good. So you flash your hand and slight of hand, but in terms of real performance, you uh, you know, you 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 dazzle to disappoint. And so in my book, when she 
run some good time against some big athlete and win some race against some big athlete, then me start paying some attention. In the meantime, this razzle dazzle from American media and people who are look forget likes and things that not really send on to me. But let me hear what I think. If you have not yet signed up, you know, it's a good time now to to sign up for the channel. Yeah, yeah man. Subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, hit the like button now. And you know, it may really like build my like a platform and thing and wanna thank the people who have been supporting. But give me a feedback as well in the comment section. And if you again if you haven't subscribed yet, now is a good time. So that when the next video drop, we think. Um, next video, I want to spend some time to look at the performances of um, at Carifta this year and, you know, make some projections for the Jamaica team should look like um, going into the upcoming world championships, all other things being equal. Let me hear from you. Respect.